to talk about that because I actually really haven't talked to anyone that's really taking on global events where we're where they're dealing with virtual virtual events streams but it's also different time zones so I wanted to see what suggestions you could give when it comes to planning across multiple time zones for remote events yeah so I think one of my main suggestions is to pay attention to exactly that the time zone so planning events can be tricky at the best of times, we all know that, but multi-zone remote events can definitely add an extra level of complexity to all aspects. The one thing you really don't want to run into is a miscommunication on the date or time, which sounds simple enough, I know, but when you throw into the mix daylight saving hours where the clocks are moving backwards, forwards, and everything in between from when you start planning to when the big day arrives, you could find yourself with a mixed match of timings and some very confused attendees. Uh, so, yeah, and bearing that, in mind all of yeah. those kind of switchings is definitely a big one. And same when you start putting out marketing material, I, I feel like that can also get kind of confusing. It depends, like if you want something to go out at a certain time, then you kind of have to align it with all the different time zones. Is there a certain... Uh, way you guys kind of coordinate if you put out any marketing communication material or sometimes there's like platforms you can use that schedule it for you um yes so we use a email marketing kind of platform called send in blue and they provide all of that type of automation uh, that allows us to reach kind of our global audiences because we have customers in the us we asia uk europe um, kind of all over the world and where they do have all different time zones what we don't want is them obviously receiving our kind of inv event invitation at 5 a.m right. when uh, <laughs> when all of their other work emails then come up on top and it's buried underneath a whole host of more important kind of pressing issues so the platform that we use offers a a uh, feature that allows each individual kind of email to be sent out at the appropriate time for our guest list. So they've worked out as we send emails out over time, when they're likely to open them and kind of what's, what's the best time within, I think it's about a two hour time gap that is best for it to land in their inbox and then for yeah. them to open it. And that's really great because what happens is, and what we have noticed as well, is that they've um, it's boosted our kind of click-through rate for it, mm -hmm. um, yeah, our like open rates. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And um, it has definitely resulted in kind of more engagement, obviously, with our emails and absorbing our marketing content for the event, but also clicking through and actually signing up because they've received it at a time that's right for them to take the information in instead of just seeing it pop up and going, yeah, yeah. Well, I've got to dive into a meeting right now. And then I've got a whole host of other things to do. It, it fits in with their schedule 